play. Um, and if you let it just sit on there, then it'll just kind of like melt the wax. It'll sort of like melt a cap on there. Mm -hmm. uh, so you want to keep trying to keep it moving. Um, so we cut the caps off the honeycomb, what caps there were, and we put them in this little centrifuge, which you need to look at to understand. But there's a basket that holds the frames, and then it's inside the stainless steel drum. You spin this basket around, the honey slings out of the honeycombs and against the drum, runs down, and then we run it out of this little spout. So, uh, so here we go. Mm -hmm. So you gotta start off slowly. Okay. That smells awesome. Wood's gonna shed a light on things. I mean, I can just tell you that's gallberry honey. There you go. Perfect. Now look. That's pretty. It's gonna be a little slower wood just because it's, it's, the honey's cold. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not cold, it's, it's not hot. But see it going down the bottom? It's so pretty, the color. I mean, look at my pants. It's Tupelo <laughs> green, but it's just not Tupelo taste. And that didn't come, came from a frame. It should be like a little break. No. I just push down or something. Let's just see what's happening here. So that one's pretty empty. See the pollen in the bottom? That's kind of cool. That's left yeah. little orange pollen pockets. And this side's mostly done, but somebody's not. So it's either just the uncapping job or the uh, It's a little cold, but we're gonna get this to slinging. Okay. So pretty. 